Hello everyone, what's up? My name is Iris Celeste and welcome back to another amazing build in Roblox. Today we're going to be building a huge city, but not just your regular city. We're going to be using Roblox's new city pack to make it look super duper epic. Except for the fact that we're only using the items inside of the pack and that's it. This build is going to be super hard as I'm not making my own items, so I decided to bring my friend Zemkuma along on this journey with me to make this amazing city. So you guys, just sit back, relax, and enjoy watching me create this wonderful experience with Roblox's new items. Alright my love, so as you know we're going to be making a city and this is going to be a huge project. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a map so we can divvy out exactly how our city is going to look. After getting a bit of my map ready to go, I went ahead and studied the city pack to see what we were working with and I decided I would go with two districts. One would be lower class and one would be higher class. The lower class consisting of red buildings and poor appliances and the higher class consisting of better appliances and of course blue and tan buildings. Putting all the information into one map, this is what we came up with. Now all we have to do is just actually put it into our world. Alright my loves, moving into this smoothly without wasting any time at all, I finally began putting together my roads. Now initially these roads were not put together. You actually have to piece them together using these miniature pieces that the city pack has given you, which personally I think is amazing, but I did not use them because I was being super duper lazy. But if you want to be critical of your city and use all the little small details, I do fully recommend using them because they are absolutely amazing and they help your build look way more realistic. Now this only took me half an hour to make and that is really good for my first time because I've never put a road down before. But now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's just go ahead and speed this process up a little bit. Alright my loves, for this next step we will be putting together our buildings and what I mean by that is we're going to be treating them just like puzzle pieces because remember we're not actually allowed to build anything. It turns out that the buildings inside of the pack give us small pieces that you can put together to make custom buildings. For example, if we take this building that has a door and this other building that has windows, you can stack them on top of each other to make a better building and that is exactly what we're going for for this new city. So just sit back and watch me put together these new custom buildings. Now around this time while I was building, I began placing my pre-built custom made buildings together to start forming the lower class part of the city. Watching this come together is super duper dope because I had two cameras, so let's just enjoy this view. So you guys are probably wondering, Ira, why in the heck are you using a free model pack? And this is something that I've most definitely wanted to talk to my channel community about and in general the Roblox development community because this is something that I am disgusted by and it is people telling others that if they use free models that they cannot build. And the reason why I say this is disgusting is because if you are a builder and you're either intermediate or you're a professional, you know for a fact that what we do is art. And when something is art, that means that there is a number of ways to do something, to make something. You are making something that does not exist yet. There are millions of ways to learn how to build. And I constantly say this all the time, there is no specific way on how to build. And I use that when I'm telling people you can use models and here is my reason why models free models in general 
They help you grow. They help you learn. And a lot of people do not agree with me on that. So let me explain. Let's say, for example, you're a new builder and you decide to open up your studio and make a bedroom and you make everything in that bedroom except a bed because you have absolutely no idea how to make a bed. So you go to your toolbox, you put in your fake, fake, not fake, free model bed, sorry. You put in your free model bed and you're like, okay. And after a few weeks, few months of using that bed, one day you're just like, dang. I don't like this bed anymore and I cannot find a bed to match what I want. Right then and there, that builder that was a noob, that is the indicator that they are growing as a builder. They are growing as a person. Because right then and there, they're getting tired of using that free model and now they want to move on to something bigger. They want to move on to making their own item. That free model gave them the confidence to make their own item. Beforehand, they probably did not know what they wanted that item to look like, what they wanted it to be like, how to put it together. But since they used that free model, they now know how to do that. They now know what they want. And that is exactly why I encourage people to use free model, free models, because they help you grow, they help you build, they help you explore bigger things within your imagination. And when people tell others not to use it, I get so confused because I'm just like, did you guys not ever use free models? I know for a fact when I started building, I did not make everything. I did not have the confidence to make everything and it took me so long to make things. Let me tell you, because people used to tell me not to use free models and it took me way longer without using them. The people in my Discord server, a lot of them started out with free models. And now if you look at them, like their progress, they're making things that I could have never thought of. Like they blow me out of the park. So let me tell you, if somebody ever tells you not to use free models that you cannot build, if you use free models, don't listen to them because they're bullshit. I'm so sorry. And there are so many professional builders that say that and it breaks my heart. Not everybody builds the same. Everybody is different. Like for example, on my channel, I make tutorials obviously and I decided to not teach negating until later into an advanced tutorial. And somebody yelled at me for it. They're like, well, why don't you do this? This is so much easier. Not everybody learns the same. Not everybody likes to use shortcuts like that. I've had people who've yelled at me and I've had people who thank me because they're like, oh my god, I hate using the gating. And I'm like, yes, I understand. I'm going to teach you this, but I'm going to make sure I cover all the other ways that you can still make that same thing, whether it takes longer or shorter. Everybody is different. And do not cut somebody off from learning. Do not expect them to be like you. Nobody is the same. The person next to me, I can never, ever, ever make whatever is inside of their head. Which is why I love teaching people because you guys make things that I could have never have thought of. I can probably recreate it once I see it, but I cannot see what's inside of your head. So I encourage you, if you don't know how to make something, use a free model. It is okay, just as long as you do not claim it as yours. It, and also, one more thing, there are a lot of stolen free models. So if you're using an item, it is always common courtesy to make sure that that item is not stolen because a lot of creators get their models stolen and then it's put on the market as free when the creator did not want that. In the future, I do plan to make a bunch of free models for people to use because I do not mind it. I just want my credit because credit is important. But let me tell you guys, it is okay to use free models here in my community. You will not be ambushed for using free models. They help you grow. And yeah, I just wanted to point out and thank Roblox for coming out with the city pack because stepping away from making every single thing inside of my world and just being able to put a city together with stuff that I really did not make I still put that city together and let me tell you it was so refreshing because I didn't have to make anything <laughs> I still loved putting this the build together and if you don't know go look at my channel I might not have the biggest builds because I always choose not to make big builds because I want to make sure that the people who are a lot you know a lot not good like me <laughs> they're not as advanced as me I want to make sure that they feel comfortable with me. I want to make sure that they look at me and they're like, I'm okay with following her. 
so let me tell you guys I absolutely loved making this pack I will link it down in the description so I truly do hope that you guys go and make your cities and here's a hashtag on the screen if you do make a city make sure you thank Roblox and you send your city to me because I want to see it I want to see you guys as masterpieces but um yeah without further ado let's go ahead and finish this city Alrighty, my loves, we are now moving on to the upper class part of our city. And making this part was a lot faster because the buildings happened to be a lot bigger than what the lower class part was. And it was just easier to put together in general. I wanted them all to look nice and large and a good variety of different buildings put together. As you see, this building right here actually has different portions and I wanted to make sure that it looked different because a lot of the buildings since they were tan they looked exactly the same unlike the red buildings I don't know you just have to look at it to see the difference but um enough with me jabbering and talking I talk too much you can clearly see this masterpiece on the screen peep the blue buildings put together those look good all right all right I'm gonna stop talking now I'm gonna stop talking now you'll actually notice that I started messing with a lot of the background buildings that you probably would not be able to have access to and this was because while you're in the city I wanted to make sure that it didn't just look like you were just on some type of floating island I wanted there to be a background and adding those big buildings in the background helped create that illusion that you were in this big big city and I also did this for the red buildings in a hot second Alrighty my loves, it is finally time to start moving on to our mini props for our city and usually I would put a montage, not usually, I would put a montage right here but since we're so close to the end and I just want to hurry up and give you guys the ultimate montage at the end of this video, we're going to keep the video going and the first thing we're going to work on is our lower class, lower class props, I'm so sorry, English, not my style, we do gibberish here.
something I wanted to highly point out in this video if you have not noticed that it's completely fine but if you look closely my meshes are messed up and that is completely my fault because I was messing with my settings and I did not realize that the settings that I had changed messed up the meshes and what they looked like so that's completely my fault so if they look weird that's why
everybody my loves with my city finally finally finished the roads connected and both lower class and higher class decorated I can finally present to you my version of Roblox's city pack But before you go, make sure you check out Zenkuma's video down in the description. Also, there will be a link to the new Sanity City Pack down there too. Make sure you like, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below about your thoughts. This is a new editing thing for me, so make sure you tell me how you feel. But without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.